What is going on everybody, Eric Donius here, and today we're playing... Soul Calibur 6. And i like to welcome you to my new channel called Team Dad Bod. The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here, we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. My hair is in entwined. I need Consumed to find... Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with Palm presence eight. of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually <sighs> succumb to the chaos. Unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Create a character by selecting race, body type, weapon, and more. Here we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. What are you chasing? What are you chasing? Let's be a mummy. What's up, mummy? Evil guys. We're human. And we are male. And we're slightly tall, average, fucking fat motherfucker. <laughs> Got pretty big arms. Forearms are not that big. Boobs are bigger because the fat. The hips are still kind of skinny, but they're fatter. Thighs are getting skinnier because I set the chair too long. Cats are fucking huge. Stomach is fucking fat like a motherfucker. Let's get the hair. Cause fuck, I can't see. Cause the damn hair is in the damn damn way. Oh hell no. <laughs> oh hell no. They go, oh hell no. They gonna give me a pink eye, bro? <laughs> I think there's only one thing we can do. A little less conversation, a little bit of fun. Oh yeah, look at me, pretty boy. I'm a pretty boy. I'm a pretty boy from pretty boy town. Let's go. I. Let's go. I. Let's go. I am beautiful. I am Let's beautiful. <laughs> fight. This, this you will die. Oh, yep, Garrett. You will that, die. That's a fucking Garrett. You will, you will die. You will die. <laughs> you, you will die. die. You will die. <laughs> oh my god! You will die. You will die. You will die. I'm not watching your face. You will die. Let's change face. <laughs> huh? Alright, alright. Dude, you need to open your fucking eyes a little bit better. I can't fucking see. Let's see what they got. If you can keep a hold of who you are, 
you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. My son's passed out in the other room. Mickey and the rest of the racers going on. Alright, let's do this. Convergence. Calic over here. I don't think it's part of my Mohawk anymore, anyways. I just need to find some pomade or something. Whatever. Let's get into it. Jimmy says. <laughs> when I woke, my head was pounding. Maybe it was the nightmare I had, but I could barely catch my breath. Or stop shaking. Blah 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 blah. You finally awake! It seems you had a, quite a nightmare. A man in a hood at my side. His appearance suggests someone quite quiet but strong willed. Zaz. Zaz Samil. That's what I call him. Zaz Samil. I, I think that's how you pronounce it too, but. Not for sure. My name is Zazmil, and I know what happened to you. You were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped, becoming a malfested. But I'm afraid you may not escape death. Ask about the malfested. <laughs> They are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but are known to become monstrous. Many malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Luckily for you, your fate uh, fate puts you on a different path. Blah 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 blah. That's what the evil seed. It is the great evil that bursts forth from the Western Europe as a torrent of light and rain down around the world. Okay. Ask about uh, something. I forget the evil seed. Okay. Your body does not appear to have altered by the evil seed. However, it seems you affected your soul. Licking it to what I call an astral chaos. The astral chaos is a curious realm where great powers glide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and headache are signs of what to come. What is to come? Uh, okay. <laughs> If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. I will take you. Jimmy! No, oh, can't do that. Yep. Alright, if what Zazamir had told me was true and there was a way to extend my life I had to try it I pursue him through the forest but what laid ahead was fate I could never have conceived we got the feet opponent and we got to do it in the snowy weather whatever stage that is and uh, we don't know their enemy. And uh, 
just like food. We don't have any food. Start match. Let's kick some ass. Go. Something's. <laughs> or manifest it. it. <laughs> manifest it? <laughs> the air was stifling for each step forward. Required an immense amount of effort. Sazimir Mill, however, seemed to proceed unfazed. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. <laughs> that is an astral fissure. A rip in space and time. It is the cause of great power that flows through the earth and the evil dispressed by the evil sea. To continue living, you will need to attain the powers of the Astro Fisher. Naturally, it is easier said than done. Astro Fisher exude, exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone weak who dares approach it, or turn them into malfesta. However, when someone with great power approaches, BAM! A flash of light will bring the with it a visitor. <sighs> Don't just sit there surprised. It looks like you got a fight on your hands. Roar! <laughs> Again, I had a problem with the opponent. Huh? Kick him, kick him, kick him. No, I said kick him. Don't fucking do whatever you just did. into particles of light and that soon faded. The freakish warriors berserker appeared when the strong approached an astro fisher. Perhaps in response of their power and yours, berserkers come from the memories of warriors who sought strength. To defeat them, you will simply need must be stronger. There is no other way! However, you can attain phenomenal power from the Fisher, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to the astral chaos attempts to devour your soul. If you can withstand the astral chaos, you will no longer have to fear for your life. Now claim your power from the astral Fisher. Encouraged by Zezimir, I thrust my arms into the Astro Fisher. A surge of light burst forth, flowed through my arms and into my body. My heart pounded. My body began burning fiercely. As long as the scattered evil and the earth power remains. Astro Fisher will continue to appear. I hear there is another Astro Fisher on the outskirts of the village southeast. 
That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. Zesame revealed a set of scales on top of which fluttered one blue flame and one red flame. These are spirit scales, otherwise known as Libra of Soul. Take them. Your body is overflowing with energy from the astral chaos. It is the power of chaos and of order. The state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will reveal to you which way your soul is leading. It should help you maintain control. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life. So long. Oh, you sound of man. Oh, you sound of man. Your soul Level. surges in your body. <laughs> Level. Level four. All right. We got five hundred gold. Man, we got the scales there, huh? The journey begins. Scores down there. Can't do that yet. The blades of fate. It's just a nightmare. I keep on waking up to. Open my eyes to an impossible sight. I was floating in a vast space. The ground was nowhere to be seen, and the sky stretched on into infinity. Brewed chunks of masonry floated nearby. A broken pillar from a temple, a half collapsed house, a fallen tower, structures of every shape and sizes from every corner of the globe. At the center of it all was an enormous whirlpool of light. I watched as a colossal building was drawn into it. Bricks ripping from the mortal and accelerating into a brilliant glow. A piece of rubble made contact and disappeared in utter silence. The light captivated me with its beauty. But at the same time, it filled my heart with dread. Little by little, that terrible light was drawing me in. Struggle as I might, I could not break free of its inexorable grasp. Slowly, ever so slowly, the distance between us shrank. I am not a reader. I love readers, but I am not a reader. <laughs> Maybe it was destiny for my soul to become entwined with the astral chaos. Uh, sounds like it, duh. <laughs> but I will not submit to destiny and allow myself to be consumed by the bright harbinger of death. I need strength. I need strength to defy my fate. light drew near when suddenly two swords appeared before me. As I reached out to grasp the floating blades, a voice broke out in silence. Those who desire strength must make a choice. If you value freedom and wish for the power to pursue your own If you honor the virtues of harmony and reason, and you wish the power to bring order to a chaotic world, choose the Azor path. Azor. I 
Let's use the Zar sword. Ah, look at that. Uh, reach the for the Zor sword. All right, I grasped the Zor sword and felt a wave of peace wash over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised my blade high, then struck a swift blow at the swirly light. The scales have tipped the towards the good. I am good, boys. Good as I think I can. <laughs> I hope I am. Uh, I hate being bad. Oh, hot being a bad boy. <laughs> Partners in crime. I fought my nightmare with every fiber of my being when out of nowhere came a voice. A voice that could uh, sorry a voice that would lead me back to reality conditions and objective reduce your opponent's health below a certain level to win ring outs are disabled and reward is 500 I got the Ling Shang Shu staff level 1 and Looks like sweet. All right, let's get it done. You ready for this, you punk? Hey, you. Is that maxi pad? <laughs> hey, you. You okay? You want to be careful swinging your weapon around like that by yourself? You have you maybe had a few too many drinks? You talking shit, boy? Barely conscious, I could. Tell that if the nightmare had in it a shadow of what looked like an enemy way in front of me, one that seemed robust, strong, and armed. I ready my weapon, and my only escape from this nightmare was to fight. Easy there. I'm not looking for a fight. Well, looks like. I got no choice. Come on, Maxi Pad! I'm gonna whoop your ass! With Kelix weapon! Fight! I won't go easy on you! I just had to get a certain level. It's like, dang, he's strong, boy. Let's make laugh. <laughs> You're back to your senses. It wasn't a nightmare. I've been fighting for real. When I came to, a friendly yet somewhat heroic looking man was standing before me. The name's Maxi. What do you go by? I told Maxie my name. Jimmy! <laughs> Nickname, don't worry. I ain't going to steal all your possessions or anything. Uh, you know, uh, you got skills, but as apology for attacking me out of nowhere, but about, or how about listening to what I gotta say? It's nothing bad, just a job offer. According to Maxi, the residents of the nearby village suddenly vanished one day. At the same time, a mysterious hole formed nearby from which strange creatures had started to emerge. The village had, uh, the village he believed it was these creatures who attacked, who had attacked the villagers and ordered they be found and exterminate that I know how to handle myself so I agreed to help but they wanted me to take care of the whole as well as the creatures 
right when I was thinking I needed some help, I ran into you. You roared juicier than a rare stain. How about 50-50 split sound? Good, sounds good, Maxie. How about 60-40? Me, 60, you 40. You were asking me you help, man. I'll just walk the other way. But hey. The mystery holes sounded a lot like an astro fisher when I asked Max when I asked when I asked Maxi where it was, he pointed towards the direction I was heading. I decided to accept his offer. Alright then, let's do this partner. With self assured grin. He extended his hand in a spirit of solidarity. I grasped it firmly. Oh, right. Oh, here's the hole. It's taking up all India. <laughs> I can't do that feature yet. <laughs> as someone who, as someone who traveled the world, Maxi had a lot of stories to tell on your, our journey. All I hear nowadays is crazy talk. To the west of the continent, some had, uh, some lord suddenly went nuts. In another town, there was a massacre that wiped out. The entire population, but nobody knows who or what caused it. Even when we're, even we were attacked once by a bunch of creeps of red eyes. Maxi, Maxi, the Maxi was a captain of a pirate crew who was victoring around the globe, yet did not speak and aggressive. Or threatening tone. You know, I forgot to ask, what's giving you the big travel bug, Jimmy? Worry of saying too much. I mentioned there was something I needed to take care of at the Astro Fisher created by the Evil Seed. Never heard of it. Some of my crew might know something, though. I'll ask around. Man, I'm beat. I'm going to turn in for the day. See you bright and early tomorrow. Oh, crack my neck. Fucking dreams. I woke up with a splitting headache that remnants of nightmare flickering in my mind. What's up? You were calling out in your sleep. Here, drink up. I thanked Maxi and told him it was nothing. Oh my god. I am about to get a new camera. The battery life sucks on it. The freaking uh, picture quality is good, but freaking thank you on shutting off the record. Alright, let's get into it. It was. I thanked Maxi and told him it was nothing. My headache had subsided, but I wasn't going to be getting any more sleep. Fucking up dreams, man. Fucking dreams. During my travels with Maxi, we came across a friendly young man who said he shared the same goal as us and had a proposal that is <laughs> suddenly I heard a voice behind me when I turned there was a young man standing with smiling on his face he gave us a small nod greetings may I assume you are also heading through the forest on a mission to hunt monsters? Yeah, we are. You too? Yes, 
My name is Heron. Haran? Haran? I don't think I've ever heard this guy. <laughs> I heard there were others who'd accepted the mission, so I thought I would introduce myself. I see. I'm Maxie. This is my partner in crime, Jimmy. <laughs> I have suggested... I have a suggestion. How about we join forces? How about now? Why I signed up for this mission, my intent was only to save those in trouble. I have no problem with splitting the reward with you. Sounds like a plan, but I'm going to have to test your skills first. Your game? You game? Yes, of course, let's begin. But I don't know if I am not good. <laughs> Battle one. Fight! Oh, you box. Uh, oh. You went up. Too easy. Oh, hell. Oh boy, he got me out of one. Oh, jeez. Right in the nuts! <laughs> oh, I forgot I could. You gotta hit them when they're down. <laughs> it's funnier. When they're knocked out, you can still beat them. Down up, down up, down up. Jimmy's done it again, guys. You win. I must say, your aggressive style is impressive. You're not so bad yourself. Where'd you pick up those staff skills? At Ling Ching Chong, alongside my brother. Uh, to be honest, I thought I'd fare better against you. <laughs> nah, you did good. I feel like it should be me asking you to join forces. You're with me, right, Jimmy? I don't know. Sure. More the merrier. <laughs> that is settled. Her Horan, you are on the team. I don't even know how to pronounce your name, but you're on the team. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. As a sign of our new friendship, how about one of Li Xing Shu's famous cakes? Awesome! He's definitely on board to go get a cake! <laughs> no one should be fight on an empty stomach. I agree. <laughs> Deal me in. Come on, Jimmy. Dig it. <laughs> Moon cake. Mm -hmm. I want a moon pie now. Oh man, that's making me hunger. Fucking stupid fuck gang. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. You just give me a fucking moon pies in my head now. Oh my god, now I gotta get a whole package of moon pies to eat them all day. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> You require some food. Food has many benef many different effects on missions and can carry you to victory in battle. Before a mission, be surely to eat heart heartily while on your mission. 
Okay. The qualifiers! A group of men stood blocking our path. They claimed to be part of an organization called the Qualifiers. And were clearly not there, not here to make friends. I just spit like, boop! <laughs> Beat all the opponents! Let's do the food. Let's test the food out. Um, health recovers every 1.5 seconds. Okay, I see, see how food helps us. Option select mercenary. I don't got any mercenaries. Oh. Miss Jaraki! <laughs> uh, that was a Zan and a filter. <laughs> but! Who's the first inning? Second inning? Who's it? Okay, this is what we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Stikes? Is that how you say it? Sticks? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Daggers, I guess? Never fight on an empty stomach. That's the uh, trophy I got. Stop right there! What are you doing here? We qualifiers watch over the area ahead. Those without permission to proceed will be turned away. Qualifiers? I heard the name from some rumors going around recently. Something about saving humanity? Quite babbling and get out of here already. We're only here to hunt monsters. If you share the same mission, it would be benefit us all to work to. You think I was born yesterday? You are just trying to get to the Astro Fisher. That's Lord Azal's. As well, as well as. And I'll be damned if you get in this way. Huh? <laughs> An Astro Fisher? Isn't that thing you were talking about, Jimmy? I knew it! Daniel! These reference are trying to disrupt the Lord as well as plans! We should kill them before they arise! Engage the man, ready his weapon. Did I read that right? <laughs> that makes sense in my head. Hold it, Valtero. He would hate for us to fight other people. The man let out a deep sigh with his blade pointed at us. He continued to talk. We don't want any trouble. Leave. It's for your all our sakes. If you get me. Looks like they're not budging. Yeah. That just means we can skip to the good bits. <laughs> Quit whispering. I, Vulture, will slay all those who stand in Lord Alzel as well as Wade. Well, they gave me a choice, thank God. Because I was going to choose to fight, and that probably gave me some evil. <laughs> Ooh, wait, the evil guy! Oh! Be triangle. It is triangle. You idiot. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh. Block out. Stupid. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. That was pretty. Oh hell! Yeah. 
Stand down, Voltrol. Let's go. Damn you to hell! Next time we meet, you won't escape my blade. Pretty big fucking guy. Going by what he said, it would seem Lord Aswell hasn't arrived yet. Let's head over before things start get messy. I got 22,500 gold. I don't know why I said it like that. I got 2,250 gold. I'm still on level 4. Ling Shing Shu Staff. You acquired a weapon. To equip, you gathered access. Uh, to equip weapons you gathered, access the weapon list in the triangle player's menu. <laughs> new weapons have been benefit, or new weapons can have benefits such as improved attack power, critical rate, and bonus attack. Use every tool in your arsenal to overcome the foes who stand in your way. Weapons acquire have level restrictions. You cannot equip weapon that has a higher level than your character. To equip a stronger weapon, you will need to raise your character's level by completing missions. Here, some food and weapons come with a bonus to help you in battle, such as combo damage plus 10% and health plus 10%. Some bonus require that certain conditions be met to activate them. These conditions are written in blue. Example of bonus activation conditions. On GI, when a guard impact hits, on SC, when a soul charge has been activated, during soul charge, while soul charge, on a critical edge, when a critical edge hits, I wonder if that's a new thing that they got. Uh, reversal Edge is launched. I, I guess the, the Edge is the new thing that they got. Hence and okay. Well, we're going to finish this part. An Astro Fisher was waiting for us when we reached our destination. I had to take care of it and the evil it spawned quickly. Critical attack do more damage than both you and your opponents. Defeat all opponents. Uh, vertical track is a triangle. Uh, change weapons if we can. Well, we can do that. Right. So we're going to fight Berserker! Do this, Mala. Vuku. The power surging from the astro. The power surging from the deep fissure 
oppressed an entire area swollen up even the surrounding area uh, I guess that is a hole they were talking about give me a break that isn't even a hole that ain't just any hole how troubling it is certainly beyond our ability to handle hey partner is that what you were looking for? I nodded. Maxi shook his head in resignation. Sounds like the rumors about monsters appearing were true. And there's that flash of light with a burst of light. A warrior appeared from Astro Fisher and let out Earth shaking as it ready its weapon. Grrrr! Great, I knew it wouldn't be going to... Great, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Grrrr! There's three of me, one of him. Three of us, one of him. Not three of me, because it was three of me, it'd be clones of me, or twins of me, or whatever. Battle one. Fight! Fight! You're not getting a break, dude. Whoa. Oh hell! Go to bam! Kick him on the ground! <laughs> the fallen war burst into light that soon faded. Well done, jeez. What was what was all that all about? The creature appeared to be human, but it left no trace of existence. As though it were a phantom? I'm pretty sure the marks on his body counts as traces. Um, okay. So what about this hole? Staring into a seemingly internal blackness. I thrust both of my hands into the fissure. Hey, what are you doing? Tomon Zazuri Tomon to the whole the whole just vanished. What the hell did you do? I told Maxi in her run. everything. After a long pause, Maxi gave me gave a slight nod. Okay, well, I got no reason to doubt you after what I just saw. Agreed. I have seen some bizarre things in my life, but nothing like that. How are you feeling? The mission's done, so you may as well rest up here for a while. I'll check to see if the road is safe. I'll go replenish our water supply. Jimmy, some sweets should help perk you up. Help yourself. Your soul surges in your body. <laughs> Wait. 
Chi and wheat seeds, high quality one. We are gonna save this here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, live long and prosper. See you guys in the next one. Eric Donius is out.